Palindrome week continues, beloved. Uh, snow day, not snow day. Two hour delay. Uh, so, a little late because drove down the hill to clear off the sidewalks when the kids come in another hour. But you know what? They're clear because New Mexico. Some in the back I gotta go take care of here. But hope that you are well today and want to spend a little time in devotion. Uh, on this Thursday, February 24th, 2, 24, 22. Um, Exodus, the book of Exodus, chapter 24, 34, on the 24th here. So Exodus 34, if you'd like to spend a little time together here in devotion as we head towards transfiguration of our Lord on Sunday and then Ash Wednesday next week. Uh, starting in verse 29 of chapter 34, if you'd like to spend some time here together. Moses came down from Mount Sinai as he came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand. Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, the skin of his face was shining and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him and Moses spoke with them. Afterward, all the Israelites came near and he, gave them in, and he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take the veil off until he came out. And when he came out and told the Israelites what he had been commanded, the Israelites would see the face of Moses that the skin of his face was shining, and Moses would put the veil on his face again until he went in to speak with him. Word of God, word of life, may you meet God face to face today uh, along your journey. Word and image is the title of, of our devotion uh, from Christ in our home, if you want to read along. We'll focus our attention to that first verse that we encountered, verse 29. The skin of Moses' face shone because he had been talking with God. Different ways of learning work best for each of us. Some of us learn best by reading and writing. Others learn through music. Still others learn by engaging their bodies and all of their senses. The more ways we encounter something, the more apt we are to comprehend it. Just before today's reading, Moses has been on the mountain with God, and God has renewed the covenant with Israel. When Moses returns to the people, it is not what he says that captures their attention, it is what he looks like. His face is shining. Through Moses, God gives the people more than one way to comprehend God's message. God gives them both word and image. In our own life of faith, the Holy Spirit gives us various ways to experience God. The Word of God announces the story of Jesus for us. God comes to us in baptism and communion too, that we might touch and taste the goodness of the life-giving love of Jesus. Pray with me, won't you? Word of God, God of word and image, thank you for revealing yourself in diverse ways so we can all receive you. Amen. And as this day unfolds before you, be invited to pray for uh, pastors, deacons, and other proclaimers of the word. May you proclaim God's word through your shining living today. Uh, God give you the gifts that you need uh, to proclaim that love today as our journey continues. God bless you. Uh, enjoy Palindrome Friday of Palindrome Week with Nancy tomorrow, and we'll look forward to worshiping together on Sunday. God bless you, beloved.